Hello and welcome to your turn to die, the game of majority. I'm Tris Lambert and right now we're going to start this. And, okay, this sounds a little loud for me or well, just in case yeah, I want to try configuring this a bit. I think this should be good. Okay. Hiya. Just a random question, but do you know what the majority vote is? Well, obviously. Ah, uh, no need to get mad. It's helpful to start conversations with an easy question. Oh, looks like somebody's over there. I love, major I love majority votes. They, they represent the way democracy should be. Following the will of the people, it's a method that minimizes conflict. I hate majority votes. They're like, they're just a way to silence the minority. It only makes more darkness build in the shadows. Ah, <sighs> sounds like they're having some tedious argument. Incidentally, whose opinion do, do you support? Mr. Blues or Mrs. Red? Mrs. Red. Aw, oh, he died. But, good for you. Your opinion had more supporters. With that experience, your sides learned the tear of a majority vote. If that makes you happy, then don't you have to recognize the appeal of majority votes? Sure, it's complicated. Hmm, what's with that look? If you'd known the other person would die, you wouldn't have voted? Sheesh, that won't get you anywhere, okay? It's what this game is all about. You know, please, huh? Alright, if you insist, let's hold the vote. Your opinion versus mine. Okay then, let's go. Okay. Oh my god, what was that? That was some guy with green hair. Okay. And, okay, where is our. Okay, near our hands. And. Oh, there's. There's a girl there. Okay, uh. Yeah, um, what happened? The shape's captured. And. What was that alarm? Is, is that. This sounds like the one you get at Friends of Freddy's. Ugh. I had a weird dream. My jaw is sore because I was sleeping with my head on my desk. This late already? I have to go home. Better Whoa, it's gone completely dark. Touch spots look interesting to investigate. Okay, what is this? Option save. Okay, we uh, where is that save? Um, the camp is pawned. There's a rumor that if you look into it at midnight, your reflection will talk to you. Could, could it be anything to a loner? Is she fine that she's not a loner? Just kidding. Um, the lights are on, maybe it's the guard. Thanks for your tireless service. Seeing school like this, it feels totally different at night. And I just shut off. And the lights. I have to walk home when it's this dark. The front gave the school. Can't go home without going through it. I don't want to leave yet. Okay, then do I need to press some Oh wait, there's some guy there. Is that the stalker? What's happening? Someone's there. What's going on? Is are we gonna get killed? Oh, Joe, what you doing, sir? Joe, Joe Tazno, rather, Joe, my classmate at school. We often found ourselves together. Oh, it's just some random day. You stuck around this late for clubs? I was, you know, I was gonna withdraw from waiting. It's fine. Listen, there's something I want to tell you. Something to tell me? Thanks. Thanks? Or what it means? You know, you, tr you introduced us, right? Me and me. She's, she's such a good girl. Just a second ago, I came back 
after school so I could brag to you about it. You should have just gone home. Alright, bragging complete. Let's go home, Sarah. Okay. I'm sure points out that his design kind of reminds me of, uh, what's his name? Uh, Kamari from... I don't know if you have a This thing, or something about well, his hair? Yusong from... Mr. Messenger, like, something about this, the care of it, but, like, the hairstyle? Just a little different, just a little different color. Let's go home, Sarah. Okay, um, some more smoke. Back home. And then, yep, finally! How long even is the story? You listening? We made huge progress. This guy's such a pain. Did you kiss? Get, no, don't be that stupid! Didn't you that on the first day? They call people like that monsters! We held hands. Outrageous progress, right? I mean, it was mostly that, that I fell in the ditch and she was helping me out, but... For how godly you look, you're awfully shy! Huh? Godly the saint? My heart, man, that seriously gets me! Damn it, maybe I should go back to a crew cut like a <laughs> And now he started moping. A poster, warning to watch out for strangers. Okay, what was that? Uh, okay, there's... Oh. A faint streetlight illuminates the area. I rarely walk home at this hour. It feels really dark. How are you in the school for that long? It looks like it's, I don't know, 10, 10, 10 p.m. or something? Were you, were you there that, for that long? What's up, you wanna hold hands? No. I'm just kidding, don't actually get mad at me. Real talk, would it help things if you got a boyfriend? Uh, is he trying to get with- is he trying to get with Sarah? Oh man, she tells the story with- well, is he trying to get with Sarah? Can you have Ryoko meet you? I can't see but I tried because of your stalker- oh, okay. That makes more sense. Is that why you always go home with me? The dummy, I just wanted to brag. Oh, sorry. No need to apologize for because I told you it's not like that. I didn't mean like an apology. Alright, let's mosey along now. Your parents will be worried if you're late. Right. Oh, who's that? Oh, wait. Who's that? Joe, Joe, run! Huh? What's, what's happening? Is that the stalker? <sighs> Phew. Home. It's okay. We should be fine now that we're here. Joe, I'm relieved. I'm relieved. If I'd go home by myself, <laughs> that guy was staring and seemed like he was trying to talk to me. Well, your parents are waiting, Sarah. Yeah. Hey, Joe. Thank you. So it's all good. See you tomorrow at school. Okay, guess I'll go in. Hmm? My house lights aren't on. Okay, uh, pretty sure there's light on here. A fancy lamp lights the front porch. So it's not a power outage. Oh. Um, I can see the living room through the window, but the lights aren't on. So, your parents are probably just asleep by now. Seriously, it looks like it's 11 by now. Okay, it's the same thing as before. The house nameplate, uh... My good old front door. Doors unlocked. Okay, that's weird. Okay. Can I do anything else? No. Okay. Okay, then. Inside house. It's dark. Why aren't the lights on? Mom, Dad, are you home? There's a plant over. I think something bad has happened. The plant's fallen over. Something's weird about the house. Um. Here's the bathroom. The back there is the door to my parents' room. The living room. Normally, Mom would be in here watching TV and waiting for me. Uh, can I go in here? Okay. The stairs to the second floor. My room is up there. Well, this seems to be like a fell out, like as if someone was running up there. So, let's go that place. It's locked. Who came and locked the door to my room? Maybe you locked it and forgot? Not that, right? 
Uh, okay, I guess I can't do anything up there, so... Living room it is. It's pitch black. This is bizarre. There can't be no one here. I'll turn on the lights. The lights switch. Yeah, turn them on. Bad feeling. Oh my god, are we gonna find the corpse now? Okay, still turn on the lights. Okay, turning them on. Oh my god, there's a body. There's a dead body right there. What's She's breathing. It looks like she fainted. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, is there already on? The door leading to my parents' room. Yeah, go in there. It's your dad. A wall mounted TV. Uh, the photo of my grandfather who died when I was young. A photo of a family trip from a family trip to Hokkaido. It's supposed to be right? Bookshelves ranging from dad's complicated books to manga and magazines. They're not at all organized. Okay, the same thing. Yeah, oh, oops, I'll press on that. Fancy containers. A wash bottle in its usual location. There's a key on the floor. Okay, Yuki. What's this here? Okay, is she dead? Okay, she's breathing. Okay. Uh. Oh, again. Okay, so there's. One more. Oh, what's Joe doing here? He did he already leave? Uh, didn't he leave already to go go home? Uh, what's he doing here? Sarah, Joe, please help. My mom collapsed. Stay calm. Did you call the constable? The cops? Not yet. I need I need to call. I'll handle it. Listen, Sarah, you need to be calm. Joe started to make a call. What am I doing? I'm all out of sorts. I need to do something, something. Uh, safe floor room. We have the key, right? It's locked. Use the room key. I'll open it. Use the room key. The door opened. Dad! Dad, are you there? Not collapse. Dad, where are you? Uh, what's happening? I'm looking for dying with your dying words. Oh my, what are those hands? We should leave for her dad in that room. Good, never mind. Your turn to die. That game by majority. Presented by Namkidai. Are there the creators of the game, right? Or the translators or something? Ugh. Oh, what's this? Where is this, I wonder? Am I looking at the ceiling? Why am I sleeping here? Remember the situation? Uh, I think I went home. Right, and then mom. mom! I quickly tried to stop, but I couldn't. Is there something on my head? Uh, think calmly? Because you need to be calm right now. And now it seems I'm lying down. On a bed, maybe? What is this thing on my head? Um... Guess I should to check then? Seriously, oh my god, I've seen Saw and Saw, like, they have these weird contraptions, so I'm kind of scared of she'll just lose her hand now. I fearfully touched my head. It was like a belt or a machine. Am I tied to it? It's like I'm being restrained. No way, what's the meaning of this? My temperature rose. Suddenly, fear awakened in me. No, where is this somebody? I had no freedom to move. Besides, my head, my left arm, torso, and legs all seem to be restrained. All I could move is my right arm. Someone was both screamed and went quiet. A stalker. He harmed my mom. And he brought me here. I wonder, am I? She, is this puzzle she's in her room? Like, she opened her door and, well, was inside just restrained her? I wonder. Killed? Why would you suddenly start thinking that? Joe. Sarah, are you there? Oh, I guess Joe's here too. That voice. Joe, is that you? Are you next to me? Yeah, but I can't move. Can't you do something? Joe's in the same situation? Okay, who's getting a phone call? A phone? Uh, oh, can I save? Okay, I guess I can't. Um, search pocket? I searched my pocket with my free hand, but found nothing. Okay, then ask Joe. Joe, is that yours ringing? Huh? You're on 
something's in my pocket. Here. Hello? Hello, where are you? Help us. Beginning voice guidance. Huh? The first trial will now begin. Sarah and Joe, find the key hidden in this room. Then remove your restraints. If you cannot do so before the time limit expires, the device on your beds will activate, and your bodies will be crushed with a thud. By all means, please enjoy this thrill with all your body and soul. <laughs> yeah, with all your body, because yeah, if you get crushed, you're definitely gonna, yeah, all, you're gonna enjoy this with all your body. You cannot really enjoy it. Okay, I don't know why I'm laughing at this. These characters are about to die. It's a healthy five minutes. Why healthy five minutes? Not now. And now there's only one key, so please discuss who will use it. Um, what the heck is this? The first trial? Will die in five minutes? What? What are we gonna do? There's no time to pray about that. Okay. Don't ask Joe again, because well, she feels okay. Joe, check your clothes. Thanks. When I took the phone now. I have dropped something. Got it. Grab it, it's a key. Use that key. Hurry up, to bring use that key. I'm sure if I do, you'll feel like you'll use the key to take care of the snare will use the key. And that works so true. I'm my dog. But Joe, I'm sure you can figure something out. I'll use it, and I'll save you too, definitely. I'm seeing an unusual way upstairs in the pilot. I just think I just made the wrong choice. I'm glad of some time. I need to save Sarah somehow. Yeah. Uh, I will save her. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll see. Okay, I have the key. What am I just doing to this? What should I do? Another red key? Too big to fit. It was some of the super keys. Just this. Okay, 3141. Okay. What's this? Digital enter. What is the number? Should I miss this? Okay, let's see. 3, 1, 4, 1. This. Does that just make sound? There's no point to that. Okay. Okay, I want my strength to this. Hmm? The bitch here? Oh, the end of the key. The big green is showing up. It's a script then. Okay, it, it was once a green key and it got red dress and stuff to it. Why did it sound like the script? Well, maybe it could have been called a green key. What did you say about it? Say my hands from the ceiling. Aha, I can build the key with this. Okay, what are you saying? The script of the red dress is... Green key show itself. Oops, I'm missing. Okay, what should I do? Red key, red key. It unlocked. Really? I'll remove these now. Wait, is there not any more shoes? Okay, you're not questioning? There's nothing else? Okay. Thank you, Joe. Can you stand? There's a door there. Let's get out of here pronto. Why is she still laying down? Damn, it's pitch black. I can't see a thing. Uh, go on, go on. Left is a dead end. Seems you can only go right. I mean, it's there. Don't let, let us get separated. Right. I kept going straight ahead. And as far as we walked, we didn't see any light. It seemed to be a very, very long hallway. Or maybe we weren't advancing much at all. Joe? Yeah, you had the phone, right? The phone you used earlier. Can you, could you... Try using that to light the way. That's what Sierra. Man, you're smart. Did you bring it? Uh, I left it back. Why would you do? Why would you leave it back there? <sighs> you could have called someone. Guess that's that then. Hmm? What can give us some light? We search ourselves and suddenly. What? Wind blowing from underneath? My feet left the ground. Am I flying up? We're oh, falling. The floor gave away. Eek! How long? How high? How far? 
won't be falling. I feel my sense is going distant. Hey, get up! Okay, what's happening? Oh, there's some people! Who's this? You can't sit there stupefied fight forever, miss. Eh? Where is this? Okay, this guy, he looks like Rentoro. He, he looks a bit like Rentoro, just older and retired. Where is this? Beats me. Ah! I'm alive. I'm not even hurt. Wow. People. Who the hell are you guys? Where even is this? Like, like we got an idea ourselves. Calm down, lady. Is there no is there no way here to explain? Just what is going on? How troubling. They seem too distracted to notice me. What in the world is happening? Okay, is that the guy throwing the start? Especially dressed as women. God, maybe the doctor, maybe the doctor were some crazy a holes. Now, let's show you my ear, Wolf. Oh yeah, he's cute. This is the guy from Star. He's he's even in the same pose. Hey, now fighting is no good. I could feel the tension in the air. There's even a great school age kid. Okay, what's up with these guys? In the center, there's a discussion happening. Now hold a second, we should confirm what each, each of us knows. That's all really well good, but we don't even know where this is! I had quite a terrible experience earlier, so I can't remain calm. He looks like Nagato, but like 40 years older. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm in association with him, but... They seem pretty confused. Who's a terrible swimmer? Oh my god, seriously? Oh, Joe, this is no time for jokes. <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> hmm. Joe and Sierra, eh? You two are friends. Huh? Yeah, yes, we are. Th thanks, for thanks for that. Joe here wasn't speaking up, see? He must have been weary or something. Didn't even tell me his name. Everybody, listen up. I bet we're all thinking the same thing. What is this place? Why was I brought here? And about all, and about all you know is who you are. What are you getting at, I wonder? Huh? 
Gobbles, we give introductions. She needs a suspicion a little at least. Introductions, you say? Not a whole lot else we can do. Am I right, Sarah? Huh? You're asking me? Uh, I support it. Chill, I meant to clear up our situation. See? The commons know what to say. Okay, once you're ready, it's introduction time. Just tell me when, Sarah. Okay, um... Uh... Can I check with these guys? Real attention, dear. I'm getting increasingly uneasy myself. Uh, okay. Alright then, time to give introductions. Yeah! Okie dokie. Introductions. That's cool. Is there a smoky sound here? Sorry, there's a bonus. Okay. Um, so then, so then, I think we should all get to know each other a little more. Yeah? You so, sound? Mom tells me not to give a personal info to strange guys that I don't know. Woof! Stupendous and low head. Spends a little head of childhood. I'm <gasps> going again. Wait. Fact of between these ones. Stupendous, a little headed child who does what his parents teach him. Yeah, this is indeed an emergency. Hmm. There is a provide provide proof that we adults are most suspicious characters. No ha ha ha. Super suspicious, Wolf. Nothing nothing for it. Well, where should we start? Okay. Oh. Okay, I guess so. Just this blonde guy first. Hey, hey, keep it simple. Name, occup and occupation. Just take turns saying it. Yep, I guess I can't do anything else, though, can I? That's the ticket. <laughs> Got it. The very ones uh, can be for later. Raise your hand if you don't mind, Plavin. Development. Hello, I am Kazumi Mishima. I teach a certain high school. Me? You're a high school teacher? The world's going to dogs, meow. Hey, Draco Yapsame. I'm a singer songwriter. Oh, I think I've seen you in magazines. You're the Draco Yapsame? Dude, is. Dude, is this really the time? Sorry. I'm Kai Sato. I'm rather. What was this? What was this? Wait, I'm supposed to give you. What's that stuff behind you? It's. It's a prank pan? A, a, a spatula? <laughs> I didn't mean like that. Guitar or bird? <laughs> bird? <laughs> I'm a baseball player, so good strength though. What does that even mean? You're so big. 193 centimeters uh, uh, and strong to boot, y'all. You hear? Seems. Seems no one else wants to talk. Well then, Sarah, how about you try asking things people you want to hear from? <laughs> yeah, me, people aren't free of you, right? I understand. I do want to question people, but. Can I worry? Start with those who I'm most concerned about. Okay, she will I'm pretty sure she's someone someone else. Touch a person's face to hear their statement. But touching extract, then speaking to someone, you extract additional statements. Oh, okay. Tremble, tremble, tremble. Okay, extract. Tremble, tremble, tremble. Okay. Okay. She's not in condition to talk. Gently calm her. You, are you okay? Oh, I'm afraid I don't do anything. I gently place my hand on her trembling back. Huh? Thank you very. Hey, what should? Thank you very much. It seems she calmed down a little. I'll try talking to her again. Uh, still no condition talk. Okay. Uh, this guy, I like this. I'm Kai Sato, and a homemaker. Okay, what exactly is a homemaker? Is he a maid? 
my best meal is Vic's Benedict. A chef, eh? No, not a chef, but a homemaker. A kid to a house husband. Oh, so he's uh, like, a, like a housewife. Same difference if you both make tasty food. I suppose so. I feel like I've met this person somewhere. But I'm gonna where did he get those utensils? They were, in, they were in the room I was in earlier. So you got them after arriving here? Yes, that's correct. I thought they, they could offer protection. Oh, it didn't even occur to me. Would you like to use one? Huh? For protection? Yes, I love her. Anything but the frying pan. Wow, so you got the, the slides. He was like, hit someone in the head with it or something? Then I'll pass. I feel like I'd met him somewhere, but talking to him doesn't feel that way at all. Is it just my imagination? Oops, I could discard my cookware. Hmm, they could be useful. They could be useful for something. At the least, I bet I could make eggs benedict. Yeah, I don't remember if I met such a weirdo. I mean, look, he didn't seem that weird to me, but I really like his design, to be honest. Like, it is something... I don't know, I just really like it. And like seriously, for some reason, like I don't know, something about him, like he he looks to me, he no, he looks like a mix between Kai from Ninjago and uh, Junjay from Slaktera and uh, like I don't know, not Kiru either Kirumi or Kiko from. The... Okay, let's see. Uh, so this punk girl, Rick Yabusame. I'm a singer-songwriter. Just like the guy, just like the guy who said my bands and they made enough of a name to get into magazines. Don't call me the gaudy guy. We finally made the storyline. The future stood ahead of us. Um, is that makeup for performances? Like hell, if my the fans leap if I went down to the stage looking this plain. That's plain. Yeah, see, like, looks like she has a lot of makeup. It's really a, I really like her hairstyle. It's neat. Also, her gloves. I also really like her gloves. I always really like I like her hair design. I finish a new track so I can play as me and my bandmates when this happens. That's such an I guess. What's your. Obviously, she can't contact them. What's her. Yeah, what's Probably damn my precious. My precious bongo. <laughs> Wait, so she's this big. She's rock star person and she plays bongos. What's this? Oh, there's something. Oh, oh. What's it? Oh, it's a log? Oh, okay. There's bongos. Bongos? God damn it, kidnappers. If you took all my stuff, I would beat you so hard. Is it now? Is it now the time to worry about the logs? Some of that stuff is. Some of that stuff is. And point this man. I'm sorry. All their stuff was taken, huh? But Joe has a lot of phone. There's still a surprise story on how she showed up in the house. Okay. Anyway, next up. I am Kazumi Misha. I teach a certain high school. Instantly, I teach Japanese and art. I thought you would teach chemistry. School teacher? Can't picture it. Indeed, I hear that often. I've got nothing to say, but you're suspicious from every angle. You truly don't have the right to say that. Apologize to the professor, please. Oh no, what's this, little miss? Pardon, say she's a former student of mine. Please forgive her. He's a really good teacher. Don't judge a book by its cover. I suppose my parents are shady after all. How shocking. Joe's a judge on. What do you either, little miss? Introduce myself, there's nothing guilty about us. Excuse me. It's time to cool down, I guess. Should I ask Professor Misha or something? Uh, ideas about this incident. Hmm, I don't recall anyone's car. I see. Of course, surely there have been times I've been decided by students, but. No, no student would cause such an incident, so I'd like to believe. For after all, as you can see, I have been. And my students are coming to visit me after graduation. Mwah. I believe we made it through the first trial thanks to our combined knowledge as well. First trial? I 
guess she was with him? Okay, I lost her. Uh, I'm a former student, uh, student of Professor Nishmas, currently at Art College. My name is now Agaporo. It's thanks to Professor Nishmas that I attend Art College now. The professor is a good person. Please believe me, Sarah. I'm not especially doing it. Yeah, I'm just Mr. Policeman here who suspected him. Please repent. Sure, Professor Mish was not suspicious. So, so you understand? In that case, my work here is done. Should I ask now something? She looks like a dying. What's the about her? She looks like a or Like, if you were here, it reminds me of a lion's mane or something. Okay. My memory of being brought here. My memory of being brought here. Sorry, it's the time. It's the same story as the professor's. All scotch in the car at the security checkpoint. Other than that, all I remember was is the first trial. It was the game where we were tight beds and I had to escape with just one key. That's the same thing we did. Professor Nishima instructed me and there was a sandpaper on that key that I unlocked Mr. Staines. Honestly, it's thanks to him I was able to stay calm. Trust. Trust. Was that a game that. Was that a game that evaluated trust? I would have called my makers do that. Are they watching? Watching a despicable game that, to that toys in people's lives. Sarah, are you okay? You look angry. Uh, I'm fine. I don't like that police. I don't like that police, I'm by. I kind of like you, Sarah. Huh? Please take good care of your friend. <sighs> okay. This guy. Then, did I not introduce myself? My well, name's Keiji Shinogi, working as a policeman. Huh? Police? You yeah, got it. Still in trouble with your friendly policeman. Well, not that I'm really that sort of cop. Then you should have mentioned that sooner. I got abducted in the middle of an investigation. It was uh, tough to find a chance to spill it. Shouldn't been so weird. Shouldn't have been so weird. Damn it. Now I guess he was suspicious of Keiji. We got caught by that criminal group. Criminal group? Petty thieves. Now they really lost, honestly. Is your co-worker not here? Sure isn't. So it's not like everyone came in pairs. And was it this guy? Guitar or baseball player? Yeah, I'm a ball player. If you work out too much, you're... You're hurt. And hurt yourself, you'll never, you'll never hit the big leagues. You know, this punch is guy sends out. Yeah, nope. That's dialing. Is it actually country he's from? I don't got a clue where I was born, neither. Neither had parents, but they, both they win. Went for a clean and remember. Still, nationality Japanese. Don't know about that, like it, but it's a mix. Ain't nothing that can be fixed if you talk it out. Incidentally, I believe baseball has positions. Oh, but you're confident in my batting too. I was lucky enough to get go to Central League. I have no idea what that means. I mean, I don't know what's funny. I know, he must I already don't like him. He looks like that classic sports guy who's dumb. The only thing he talks about sports is sports is strong and then it's just dumb. I don't really follow, but does that mean you're good at throwing the ball and hitting it with a bat? Yeah, that's right. I don't know about baseball either, but he seems to be proud of his strength. I was so happy, happy after a long eight-week coma game, so I've been drinking and then I don't remember a thing. I will come back and go call around in this place like I'm a dog or something. Such a bummer, I can't believe I can't get through this, can't get this thing off. And you this strength, can't remove it. Yeah, I'm not sure if he just tried pulling it, he would like, uh, he would... See. Me and Sarah are high school classmates. Sarah's being harassed by stalkers, so I went home with her that day. Then there was an incident, so I called the police, but I heard Sarah screaming, so I ran upstairs. And there stood that damn stalker. Huh? That's, the fir that's the first I've heard of that. Heh, <laughs> didn't have a chance to mention it. So I worked up all my courage to punch that guy. To punch the guy. Of course, I'm awful fighting, so since I don't remember winning, I'm guessing I lost. 
That's why I know that Stalker is the culprit of this case. Interesting. Go on. Sorry, but that's all I got since I fainted. Again, this isn't a stunt, just one jerk Stalker could pull off by himself. Uh, it's an organized crime, right? Right, Mr. Cop? Could be. I wonder if there is someone among us who collaborated with the culprit, playing a victim to blend in. Yeah, and I think it's you! Like, okay, seriously, Joe is so sweet. Okay, seriously, I know I should not be suspicious of him, but like, I've played Doug, I've seen Doug and Rob, and so I, Doug and Rob and Zero Escape, so I'm already not trusting literally anyone here. And this guy, he, he said he was gonna go home, and he comes back to her house. I think he's the one. Eh? Hearing Joe say that, I understood. Why he'd been so airy and acting so strange? <laughs> What's that? You want laugh? I can't say there isn't. You sure are funny, huh? I hate this guy. Why is he laughing? A collaborator with the culprit. Maybe there could, could be something like that. Oh, I should introduce myself too, too soon, huh? Fine, I can read. I can read. Re 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 uh, wait. Fine, I can read the room, woof. Woof. It's, you know, the mature response, meow. I can read the room too, meow. My name is Kitty Bushi, woof. I'm a sixth grader, meow. Aww, so he looks so cute. He's cute to cat, like. His little tail is close to the cat there, so he has a big, there's a big blush there. Great introduction, girl. Don't call me a kid, I just introduced myself because you guys didn't seem like anything special, but... Do you, re do you remember anything about why we came to this place? What? No. Mom was like coming home, so I stayed up late, and I heard that there was, so I thought she was uh, bagged up in the door, meow. Different girl up standing there, meow. Don't remember anything else, woof. I see. Good. Don't give me those looks, woof. I'm strong, I'm strong boy, meow. Exactly so, but he must be scared. Let's work together to go home. Yeah? Work together? Woof woof. Right, no, grown-ups are bad again. Can I believe that? Meow? Of course. I only I only trust you, Pixie Sierra. Woof. Big sis? Huh? It's something bro, is it? Woof. Maybe I got it all wrong, meow. That's not the problem. My little brother. He talked me like that. I know, maybe in Japan or in anime, not in reality. Oh my god, so cute! Okay, no time for this guy. Oh, uh, well, then I should introduce myself too. My name's Sohiori. Um, just a job hopper. <laughs> so, so we can't mouth? Yeah! Okay, don't play like that. It's not too black on savings. Did you introduce yourself at first? Naturally, I was very like Joe was. Plus, saying I'm a job hopper is a little embarrassing. <laughs> Do you think I'm so high, meow? It's your eyes to a fault. What? Okay, I don't know about that. You can't trust people like that, right? He's always smiling. He seems kind or maybe timid. Okay, but this was the guy beside the store, right? So, I, okay, you know, I can't feel like he's gonna be like the Kukichi of the game. Like, everyone here, he looks like he, like that's gonna be him. It's gonna be either him or Mishima. Seriously. <laughs> huh, come on now, don't look at me so pitifully. Miss Sarah, you're steadfast and strong. I'm jealous. Actually, yeah, actually, I want to ask something. Ideas about this incident. Gosh, feels like you're asking me in such a first things first way. It is, huh? I've got none. I apologize for having missed right away, so... So, not that. I haven't aimed to look on anyone to be hated by someone. Some days I think I'm entitled to show enough gratitude to my parents, but... They just spoil me so much. Man, I could be more independent already. I'm sorry, can't remember anything much. Neither can we. Right. Don't sweat it. Let's get home. Go find a job, meow. Yeah? Oh, job hunting study work. Looks like he's being crushed under not only the fear but an uncertain future. <laughs> okay, that's funny. 
Okay, uh, let me steal this girl. Are you okay? If you've calmed down, could you talk to me? Um, I'll say I'm Kana Kizuchi. She's able to talk now? Kana, can you tell me more about yourself? Okay, uh, I'm middle school and, um, uh, it's, it's okay, you don't need to rush. I was coming home with my big sister and we were eating ice cream. We were just walking along and talking about to have for dinner. Suddenly, some scary people came out from black park on the road. I see, that must have been frightening. Yes, her sister. But she, but she just... She just said Mrs. Selling thought the two of them were both kidnapped, but there's only Kana here. Just hunch, but I feel like I should try asking what the country came here. Can you tell me what happened after you arrived here? Here? Khan, after I came here, my sister? My sister. I'm gonna scream, but you can imagine a scream. Scream, but like, okay, what was that? So, of course, she starts dead, right? Sarah, Sarah, how's Con looking? It looks like she's passed out. Damn it, whoever, whoever, who, damn, this is a mess, messed up. She died? What the hell did this poor girl do, huh? Does a culprit even go hard? Seems like this isn't some joke or a prank. I don't like this. This is just. This is too awful. Just too. Hey now, everybody. Don't lose your cool. You've got your friendly policeman here. Hey, KG, you're the reliable one here. What should we do? You, you should change your tone, too. Well, first things first. Uh, we. Don't make it. Why don't we confirm what each of us has found in this place? That sounds like a good plan. So just for that one thing I'm saying, see I picked up this thing. It's a huge box, meow. I bet you I bet you could fit a whole watermelon in there. Was this from the first trial? Yep, thought that Yep, though I mean bring this box was uh, the point of the first trial. Say what? The different people have different first trials? We can discuss that later. First off, let's open this box. It ain't gonna. Uh, it's got he keyhole, see? Sarah, do you have any ideas? Like me? It's like a. It's like catching your old guard. That's a lousy reason. Controls. Touch an item in your possession, then you can use it. Uh, that item is a personal object. Okay, not very good. Okay, not. I'm gonna go see. And we're gonna continue next time because we're almost an hour in. So yeah, we'll see what's in the box next time. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.